if poetry means free form philosophy then i'm gonna read a poem to you guys it is inspired by a little chat i had with a friend well it's actually inspired by love and i'm really tempted to say love for her or the love i feel for myself when i had this talk this conversation this communication with her but it's not that it's just love it's a feeling i experienced it's not my own it's just like flowing through me in and out when i feel it deep inside and when i'm conscious of it it's like i feel that it's inside and uh yeah here it goes dying in my experience is really tough what's even harder is what comes after you come back or realize you are not dead in the way you think of it then comes a period of at best integrating this experience and transcend it or to repeat the same human cycle and forget about it sleeping is like dying your consciousness dissolves or goes elsewhere. Dying to me is connecting with the space between things, instead of what humans normally do. Connect, identify and attach to the things surrounding that space. If you look around and observe objectively, we can see there is more nothing than something with nothing meaning that what you don't perceive directly with the physical senses you can call that thing matter physical or the gross world but it comes down to all we like to think we know the familiar hell in a way so dying is connecting with the unfamiliar humanly unexplainable and maybe temporarily being unaware of who you believe you are, which is the person you identify with the most, the representation of yourself. Perhaps you connect with your deeper, infinite, godlike, eternal self. All these words are bad attempts to describe these magical experiences. Let us experience it together and look each other in the eyes and just do it, feel it, live it. Everything is possible, but that everything is the scariest thing humanly imaginable. I think we have to see the world objectively in order to have clear, pure and honest feelings, thoughts and actions based around that universal yet paradoxical truth. I can do it and I risk my life for this, to live a life with heart, no matter how hard it seems, to be a warrior, expect nothing and be prepared for everything. I believe love is the only thing worth everything. The big joke is that it is everywhere, but humans are little demons so attached to their suffering that many of us never even experience it. I wish to spread this. I love my inner demons, maybe more than my inner angels, but I'm thankful that I have met some angels. Now I strive to meet and love my inner angels. I died many times, but I never really learned a lot. Now I feel it's the time to integrate my shadow once and for all so I can see the light and start the next challenge. When you really communicate with someone, it can sometimes feel like everything falls into place and everything makes so much sense, even though you might not be able to put the words on it, you know? When this happens, there's no self and other because you go to the deepest part of yourself which is the same in everything including that other person and uh, I can call this soul communication or love or whatever it doesn't really matter but these experiences 
can be really powerful. For me, they are really powerful. They give me energy and like now, I suddenly wrote this, this poem, which uh, amazed me after reading it. Like, it came from another place, you know.